Have you ever opened up a personal finance book or read an article on budgeting or anything like that? If you have, the standard advice that you've probably heard about is to classify all of your expenses as either needs or wants. Then, when push comes to shove and you need to start making room in the budget, the first things that get cut are those wants. This is dangerous, dangerous advice. Find out why right after this. Hey, it's Derek Hagan, Certified Financial Planner, Chartered Financial Analyst. I'm a personal finance and behavioral finance expert that started Money Health to give you the tools you need to increase your financial health and give you a better relationship with money. Thanks for being with me for another Money Health conversation. So let's get back to this budgeting business. Life is not all about needs and wants. Every want that you can think of has an underlying need. Take um, weekly happy hours, for example. Uh, this would get cut in, in a budget, right? Uh, most people would consider happy hours to be a want, not a need. But what about socializing with your friends? Okay, Take this case. Okay, Think of this as a want. Think of this as happy hour. It would be very easy for those traditional budget mongers to throw this out completely. Just get rid of it. But look inside. There is an underlying need in here. There's basically, there's six basic human needs that everybody, uh, every behavior that we can think of is a desperate attempt to meet. Belonging, autonomy, safety, and security, uh, self-expression, connection, purpose. So every one of us has these needs. Now, it is possible, it is possible that our needs could be surrounded by ill-advised or otherwise inefficient wants or strategies. Take belonging for example. We have a need for belonging so we might try to meet that need by keeping up with the Joneses because we want to belong to our neighborhood. Okay, So keeping up with the Joneses, that's the case. The need is belonging. But don't throw out the entire case. Don't throw out the whole strategy of keeping up with the Joneses without considering that need for belonging. Okay, Don't throw away the happy hours without considering that need for connection. A need for socializing with your friends. Okay, Always be aware that all of our wants are strategies to meet our basic needs. Focusing your use of money on what's important to you and finding good effective ways to meet your needs, that's good money health. Thanks again for being with me. If you like the video, click like and consider subscribing. If you know somebody dealing with this kind of budgeting issues, please feel free to share this with them. You can learn more at moneyhealth.blog. There you can join the Money Health community. If you're feeling stuck and think that advice tailored to your specific situation would be helpful, I can help you through Hagen Financial. You can learn more there at hagenfinance.com. Thanks again for being with me. This has been another Money Health Conversation. I will talk to you next time.